In this video, I'll show you how to add images or photos to your vector layer. And then I'll show you how to display these photos or images in the pop-up of your web map using QGIS2 web. Hello, welcome to Pergis. Here I have my QGIS project with one vector layer, a point layer. This layer is within a geo package, or you can also use a shape file or a different type of layer. Before I show you how to configure the fields to be able to capture images and then display the pop-up. I want to show you the properties and the fields of this layer. So I have the a name, date, notes, and a path photo, which is a text stream with 255 of length. Uh, this field is the one that I'm going to use to store the photo path or the location where this uh, images or photos are being stored in my computer. So I'm gonna close this one more time. I'm gonna save my project. And so basically I'm going to, I don't have any data right now in this layer, it's empty. So I'm gonna first go to the properties. Again, I'm gonna open it, but now I'm gonna go to the attributes form. If you want to, you can change it to drag and drop designer or leave it in auto generate. I'm gonna change it to drag and drop designer. I'm gonna remove the fit and then I'm gonna go to the path photo field. And again, this is the field that we're gonna use to store the location or the path of these photos. So I'm gonna change the widget type to attachment. And here in the default path, you need to make sure you select the location where your photos are being saved. In my case, I have this folder with my photos. So I'm gonna uh, just select it there. And that was the default. I'm going to leave it in absolute path. That way, the entire name of these photo locations gets passed to my field. And I'm going to scroll down. And then in the integrate document viewer, I'm going to change this type to image. And then I'm going to click on apply. Since we're going to publish this into a QGIS2 web, if you want to, you can make some changes on the alias name if needed. Like let's say name photo, um, name of photo. If you want, uh, even the path name could be changed if you want to. Now, in order to display them in the pop-up or when you select one of these points, we go to the display tab and I'm going to enter an expression. I'm going to copy and paste the expression and I'm going to leave this, I'm going to put this expression in the description of this video, but of course you can also pause the video and type it the way it is. So basically uh, we're telling it to show a file. Uh, this is the name of the field. If you can type it, you can also find it here and you can of course change the width and the height of the display of that image if you want to. Right now, I'm not seeing anything because I have no data in this layer yet. Before I click on apply, the display name, if you want to change that, in, uh, you can change it here. I'm going to leave it as the name of the photo and then apply and OK. So we're going to test it before we create a web map with QGIS to web. So I'm going to activate the editing tool and I'm just going to drop a point. I'm going to just call it photo one and I can navigate here so you can bring in photos directly from your computer and put them in your, in this case, in this layer. So this is a nice place, not too far from where I am. And I'm going to click OK. And you can see immediately that it's showing the photo and the pop up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add one more and then we'll go back to the properties of the layer. I'm going to save that one. And now I'm going to call it photo two. And then I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to save my edits, disable editing, and I'm going to open the properties one more time. And now we can see, you know, because now we have data, this expression is showing the photos here now. So I'm going to click on apply. OK. And now I'm going to save my project and I'm going to 
uh, upload this into QGIS2 web and show it as a web map. So I go to the web, QGIS2 web, and create web map. If you need more information about how to create a QGIS2 web web map, I would recommend you watch my QGIS2 web video. Here we can see the layer, the photo web map point layer. And in the pop up fields, I don't want to show the fit, so no label. I do want to show the name. And I'm going to leave it as a inline label, always visible. We can also show the date if we want. We want to see the date of this picture or this record. And I don't have anything in the notes right now, so I'm going to just leave it as no label. I'm not going to go over the details of the rest of this tabs. Again, I'll recommend you watch my other video. I'm going to just uh, click on update preview right now. We can see the two points. We can test it if we want to here. And I can go to export. And then I'm going to export it to a folder. You can change the location of this folder if you want to. In this case, I'm going to just leave it as a default. And I'm going to click on export. Now we have the QGIS2 web map. And if I select one of the points, we can see the photo there. That's all I have for this video. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know in the comment section of this video. Thank you.